Hi, you guys. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather, and I'm so excited you stopped by today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I would hope that you would subscribe to my channel. I started my YouTube channel recently for the same reason I started my blog six years ago, and that is to help women look and feel amazing because I believe when you look good and you feel good, you're going to exude confidence. And let's face it, ladies, confidence will get you anywhere you want to go. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to wear shorts over the age of 40. This actually applies, I'm gonna be giving you five style tips to follow when you're wearing shorts. And if you're not over 40, it's okay. I still feel like these are good tips to follow just to make sure that your shorts look amazing and polished and very chic and tasteful. Um, let me start off by saying that you do not have to wear shorts, of course. If you're not comfortable wearing shorts, that's okay. I know a lot of women who are not comfortable wearing shorts um, for whatever reason, whether they have you know spider veins or whether they're not happy with the way their legs look or, or whatever it is, that's okay. I always tell my clients and my readers, wear what you feel most comfortable in, wear what you feel most confident in. And if you don't feel comfortable and confident in shorts, then by all means, do not wear them, it's okay. But if you are going to wear them, I would suggest that you follow these five tips. Um, so let's get started. Style tip number one when wearing shorts is to go up a size, okay? So the worst thing you can do is wear shorts that are too tight. And I'm talking about all kinds of shorts. My particular favorite kind of shorts are denim shorts, denim cutoffs, because I'm a denim girl, I'm a denim lover. If you look on my blog, you'll see me in jeans a ton. Well, since I love jeans so much, naturally I love jean shorts. So I highly recommend sizing up at least one size on denim shorts. If you're not sure, what I do is I order two sizes. So my normal size in jeans is a size 25. So when I order cutoffs, I typically order a 26 because that's one size bigger. But sometimes cutoffs run big, sometimes they run small. So I always order two sizes, I try them both on, and then I'll send back the one that didn't fit right. So most recently, my favorite denim short that I'm super excited about to wear this summer is a new pair that has been put out by A. Goldie, which is one of my favorite denim brands. They make amazing jeans. They're very affordable. They're, by the, they're actually owned by the same owners of Citizens and Seven for All Mankind. So, but their jeans are actually priced a little bit lower and they make the absolute best, hands down, denim cutoffs of any designer I've ever tried on, no doubt in my mind. So last summer, the hottest style that they put out was called the Parker. And that's still very popular. A lot of people still wear the Parker. I still have the Parker and I love it. The ones I got last summer are a light denim wash. As you can see, I'm gonna show you guys a few photos of those. But they are, I'd say, a mid to high rise. And I ordered them, I went up a size, but these run big. So my Parker shorts are a size 25. Um, and again, they run big because, you know, I would normally a 26 in shorts, but as you can see, these shorts sort of lay on your hip comfortably. The legs are a little bit wide, which is good. You never want the legs of the shorts to be too tight because that's actually gonna make your thighs look bigger. And you certainly don't want that. Um, the, the shorts that I'm talking about that just came out this season that are also by A. Goldie, they're a higher rise than the Parker. I think they're an 11 inch rise, which is phenomenal. So they actually hit high up on your waist, which is the slimmest part of your waist. So the high rise actually makes your legs look longer and who doesn't want that? And the length of the shorts is actually about an inch longer than the Parker, actually half an inch or an inch. So not a whole lot, but just a little bit, just enough to cover maybe that challenge area of the upper thigh that you don't want to show. So in these shorts, I'm actually a 26. So I ordered the 25, I ordered the 26, but I ended up going with the 26 because again, I didn't want them to be the least bit tight. The 25 actually fit perfectly, but I wanted them to be a little big because like I said, going up one size when you wear shorts is key to looking chic and polished. 
So I kept the size 26, and as you can see, they fit, but they're a little on the bigger side. So they're not tight in the thighs, they're not tight in the waist at all, which creates a very slimming look. So style tip number two is going to be uh, make sure that they're long enough. And a good way to test this is to, the first way is to do the fingertip test. So basically you're gonna put your arms all the way down by your side and wherever your fingertips fall, you want the shorts to be around that area, give or take an inch or two. Also keep in mind your height, if you're short or tall, you wanna to adjust accordingly. And if you have long arms, you wanna adjust accordingly. So I'm petite, I'm five foot four. And I do have very long arms. In fact, funny story, my girlfriends, I have a, a lot of good girlfriends who are also influencers, so we're always taking selfies and pictures when we're, when we're out and about, and I'm always the one they want to take the selfies because I have the longest arms. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But anyway, because I have long arms, I do take into consideration that when I put my fingertips down, mine are gonna hit a little bit lower than someone with maybe shorter arms and also someone that might be taller. So, when I actually have my hands down, those uh, A. Goldie shorts are just a little bit um, longer, but that's okay because, again, I have long arms and I'm only five foot four. So take that into consideration. And then another thing I wanna say about that, if you're not sure if they're long enough, I want you to bend over and look in the mirror to make sure that you're not showing too much booty because that is never a good thing. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're 18 or if you're 15, or if you're 25 or 45, the worst thing you can do is have your rear end hanging out at the bottom of your cutoffs. That's trashy, that's no, that's no good, and just please don't ever do that. So that's a good test to kind of look at the shorts from the front view, but also turn around and look in the mirror and make sure that from the back, even when you bend over, you're not showing too much of your bottom. All right, style tip number three. I'm gonna talk about what you should pair your shorts with. So right now, I'm on this kick of, sh of pairing cutoffs with blazers. I just think that's a really cool, chic look. I think it makes your, your uh, it elevates your denim shorts because cutoffs can be, they're very casual, you know, they're very laid back, they're very effortless, but if you pair them with something a little more upscale, like I did, this uh, white blazer with gold buttons, that's a lot dressier. So I love mixing something dressier and more elevated with my cutoffs to kind of balance out that look. But another reason it balances out the look is because the blazer covers more skin. So when you have on shorts, you wanna keep that in mind. How much skin are you showing? So when you're wearing shorts, you're gonna be showing a lot of leg, right? So I love to wear at least a three quarter length sleeve, a long sleeve over, you know, flowy top, or a jacket because I kind of want to cover the top portion of my body and, and make those clothes a little more or less fitting because the bottom, because the shorts are a little bit more fitted and they're showing a lot of leg. So that's another thing I recommend, you know, either go with a jacket or go with like a larger flowy top or even a button down with the sleeves rolled up is another just very effortless way to dress up cutoffs and look very chic when you're wearing cutoffs or shorts. All right, style tip number four. Uh, we're going to talk about what type of shoe to wear and style tip number four is wear a low heel or a wedge of some sort, preferably nude. The reason I say this is because when I wear shorts and I look at my legs in the mirror, if I have on flat sandals, which I'm not opposed to wearing flat sandals with shorts, I've done it before and I'll do it again. But when I put on a wedge instead of a flat sandal or a sneaker, I just feel like my legs look prettier, they look longer, they're elevated, they look better. So that's just food for thought. But when you choose your heel, choose it wisely. You don't wanna choose a heel that's too high. I would say don't go over three and a half inches, maybe four at the most. And if, if it is a four inch heel, which I think the shoots heels that I have on in this picture are four inches, but they're a nude heel, so they're very subtle and they don't seem that high, they don't seem that in your face. Don't wear a stiletto five inch heel, don't wear like a big black chunky heel, I just think that is gonna make your legs look shorter, it's gonna make the look just look a little more, just a little more cheap, I think. So I think, you know, a lowish heel, a wedge, keep it at a nude color so that it's going to elongate your legs. 
Now, if it's the weekend and you're going to your son's soccer game or football game and I wear this a ton, I'll wear cutoffs in my Golden Goose sneakers. I'm not opposed to wearing sneakers with cutoffs if you're going somewhere super casual. I think that's very, you know, very effortless and very chic and casual looking. So definitely, you know, if you're doing something very casual, a sneaker is always okay or a flat sandal is always okay to wear with denim shorts. All right, style tip number five when wearing shorts to make them look age appropriate is use Charlotte Tilbury's Body Slimming Cream. Okay, this is my all-time favorite beauty product. It's basically like this bronzing cream that you put all over your body. You don't just put it on your legs. You can put it on your decollete area, your shoulders, your arms. Every time before a photo shoot, I use this on my you know, chest and arms, even my neck and of course my legs. Um, this is actually used on Victoria's Secret models before they go into photo shoots as well because it works that good. It's so amazing. Um, I once did a blog post of the one beauty product I always wear when wearing shorts or wearing a dress, and it is this one. When you put this on your legs, they just look they just look glowy, they look dewy, they look bronzed, they look toned, they look fabulous. So seriously, you will never not want to use this beauty product when you're wearing shorts or wearing a dress. I Trust me, it's, it's just phenomenal. I highly recommend it. I want to add a little bonus style tip to these five tips, and that is kind of going along with what I just talked about, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzing Cream. And this is a little style tip would be to get a spray tan. If you've never had a spray tan before, don't be afraid of them. I've been getting spray tans now for about two years and I usually get them about once a month. If I have a special shoot coming up, maybe I'll do it more often if I'm going on vacation or something like that, I'll get, I'll get them more often as well. But being tan will also make your legs look thinner, they'll make your legs look more toned, they'll make your legs look better. So when you're wearing shorts, I feel like it's good to either use a self tanner or get a spray tan. It's just gonna make, again, make your legs look longer, make them look toned. Here's a couple things I recommend about spray tans. Number one, do it where there's an actual human being giving you the spray tan. Don't go to one of those machines because it's never even enough, okay? I do have a girl in Dallas um, that gives phenomenal spray tans. I will link that in my description box below, along with all the other products I've been talking about today, the shorts and the Charlotte Tilbury bronzing cream. Um, and also Nordstrom at North Park gives an amazing spray tan, so you can always go there. I used to do the Nordstrom spray tan until I met Shelby of Flawless Tans. She's amazing, so she actually comes to my house and gives me my spray tan, so it's awesome. You don't have to leave your house to do it, but she actually does have um, at her home in her garage, you can get the spray tan there, so if you don't want her coming to your house, you can you know, have the option of either one. So that's also amazing. And I will link her information below in the description box as well. If you don't live in Dallas, then again, just, just remember to go to a spray tan place that actually has a human being that actually is going to be spraying your body and not a machine because that never works. Well, ladies, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Remember, these, these five style tips are just ideas. You certainly don't have to follow them to a T. And more importantly, don't think you have to wear shorts. If you're not comfortable wearing shorts, if you don't feel confident wearing shorts, then by all means, don't wear them. That's okay. These are just ideas for women of all ages, but specifically women over 40 who want to look chic, who want to look amazing and fabulous when wearing shorts. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. For more uh, style inspiration, please stop by the blog and subscribe to my blog, uh, SoHeather.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and I hope all of you ladies have an amazing day, and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.